local, quick, and to the point. WDEF News 12 this morning continues now. Good morning and welcome back. If you're thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some good news for you. News 12 has teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find the perfect companion. Join me this morning, always a lovely Miss Karen Walsh. Karen, I am so tickled. This that morning. guinea pig looks really great on your sweater. <laughs> looks like a large pin. It's the perfect accessory. <laughs> Every girl needs one. So we have two guinea pigs we this do. morning. We um, actually have four at the center, but I just brought okay. two because I thought it might get more of an adventure if we brought four. Yeah, I said we didn't <laughs> want to be juggling <laughs> guinea pigs this morning. So I have Brie. Yes, and I have Camembert. They were all named after cheeses. Um, I wanted to go for John, Paul, George, and Ringo, but I got outvoted. I think that is perfect. <laughs> I think that they should reconsider. Okay, so tell us a little bit about guinea pigs for maybe those at home who don't know much about them. Guinea pigs make great pets. These four that we have are used to being handled. They're all litter mates, so they were raised together. Um, if you're looking for a first pet for your child, guinea pigs are a good option. But like all exotic pets, they have special needs. Guinea pigs mm -hmm. uh, require special bedding, and we can help you learn about how to care for your guinea pig. They also have a vitamin C requirement that a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, they can get sick without proper vitamin C. <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> to touch him. He's fine. Okay. <laughs> but they like to be cuddled, and they make really cute little noises. And uh, Oh, yours was yeah, making pets. little piggy noises yeah, is what it sounds my, like. He hid in my sweater for a while, but he's doing fine now. So he doesn't mind the lights anymore. How much, do they get much bigger than this? No, these are full grown. Oh, wow. This so is, this the, is the, what you the, get. The and they're young. These, these, these ones are young, and they, they live um, a good time. You know, they're they're yeah. not as uh, short-lived as like a hamster or a gerbil oh, might be. And they're right. also a little harder to break than a hamster or a gerbil. So if you have a smaller, a younger child that's looking for a pet, um, you know, six, seven-year-old child would do well with oh, a guinea pig. Perfect. So something to consider for yes. a Christmas gift, maybe. As long as you're ready for a pet at the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people are a little overwhelmed at that time. But if you're ready, uh, a guinea pig is certainly easier care than a puppy would be at the holidays. Oh, good point, good point. So to, speaking of the holidays, you guys have got a lot going on right now. Tell us what's going on at the center. Well, we just had holiday for the animals over the weekend and it's still going on as far as gifts for the animals go. Um, people come in and they put things under the tree. There we go, they're losing my guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> is it in your sweater? <laughs> he doesn't like the lights. That's okay. Um, they also like to cuddle. <laughs> But uh, we do have people brought in some wonderful gifts under the Christmas tree for the animals that will be spending Christmas at the center. Um, blankets and different kinds of canned food and different toys and treats. And uh, we had a great event this past weekend. People were doing behind the scenes tours of the center, which oh, people fun. really enjoyed. The Chattanooga State Massage Therapy students came out and down at admissions, they were giving massages oh, um, for donations. Wow. It was a really fun event. That's Lee Towery awesome. Catering gave us a wonderful buffet. So a lot of people that were just coming in to see the animals were surprised that they also got to do all these other great things. Well, so. it sounds like a, a great event that you had. Yep. And so what, el what else have you got going on uh, for the holidays? We have our donation dog that we've just put. He's a, he's a big dog that's up on top of a donation box and okay. we're doing a name the dog contest right now. So if you want to stop by the oh. center and put your name in, um, and then he'll be featured on Facebook and with his new name and the person who named him and we'll put a little plaque on the front and he's going to go out to the airport and uh, be out there as, to promote the McCamey Center and how much Chattanooga loves animals when Fantastic. people fly in. Oh, I love that. Well, just speaking of the animals and the holidays, I mean, I would just like to stress to our viewers, it breaks my heart to, to think of these sweet animals spending Christmas all alone in, in the center. So as Karen mentioned, if you are ready for a, a pet, you know, please stop by and, and adopt any one of these fantastic animals that you guys have there. Right, we're gonna be open Christmas Eve, so oh. we're open special hours on Christmas Perfect. Eve. Perfect. And uh, then, of course, we're there every day, but we're not open on Christmas Day. Okay, so Christmas Eve, just not on Christmas Day. Well, Karen, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for bringing these sweet little guys. <laughs> we're going to put some information up on the screen. If you'd like more information on any of the fantastic animals there at McCamey, you can always stop by, give them a call, or head to their website. It's McCamey We're going to take a short break. Stay with us.